Archaeologists will uncover a bunch of finds over the course of their careers, but only a few truly amaze them. Ask any archaeologist about the most out-of-the-ordinary thing they've ever seen, and they'll name maybe two or three discoveries that hit harder than all the rest. And those are the ones they hand over to scientists, but they didn't come with answers. This video is about those mysterious discoveries that force scientists to rethink ancient history. Let's kick off things with number 15. Earliest Humans in Europe We've always known that Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens cross paths and many stuff, but in Bulgaria's Bacho Kiro cave, that intersection got a whole lot more personal. In 2020, researchers uncovered the remains of humans who died around 46,000 years ago, making them the oldest confirmed humans in Europe. What surprised scientists wasn't just their age, but their genetics. Their DNA showed clear traces of Neanderthal lineage only about six or seven generations back. That changes everything. It suggests interbreeding between Neanderthals and modern humans wasn't a rare occurrence, it was standard. For decades, people believed Neanderthals simply vanished, replaced, or outlived. But maybe they didn't disappear at all. Maybe they were absorbed into us. The people from this cave had DNA similar to modern East Asians, but their Neanderthal ancestry is what really shook the scientific community. These weren't vague traces from millennia ago, these were close relatives. Their bones may hold the key to explaining how one ancient species faded while another carried its legacy forward. Number 14. Chauvet Cave in Pont d'Arc, this cave isn't just a historical site, it's a glimpse into the mind of humanity before writing existed. The art inside doesn't just depict daily life, it represents abstract expression. Some walls were used for specific themes, like lions, rhinos, and horses, each painted with care and consistency. These aren't crude sketches, these are compositions. Radiocarbon dating places the art at 39,000 years old, making it some of the earliest stylized cave paintings on Earth. Human bones were also found within the cave, giving more context to the lives that created this artwork. While most theories label prehistoric people as primitive, these paintings tell a different story, one of emotional awareness and creativity. The Gallery of Lions is especially famous, showcasing natural poses and movement far ahead of their time. Chauvet challenges everything we think we know about prehistoric intellect. These were not brainless survivors, they were artists, observers and creators who spoke through stone instead of English or Chinese. Number 13. Codex Borbonicus The brutal destruction caused by the Spanish conquest of the Aztecs erased nearly all of their written records, leaving us with gaps that may never be filled. One of the rare pieces that survived is the Codex Borbonicus. If authentic, it describes how the Aztecs migrated from Aztlan following the start of the Spanish invasion during the 16th century. The name Codex Borbonicus comes from the Italian scholar Lorenzo Borboni Beneducci, who analyzed the manuscript closely in the 1700s and introduced it to Europe. Controversy surrounds its validity, because the Nahuatl text was added long after the illustrations were drawn. The story begins in the year 1168 and follows key moments in Aztec history up to 1355, just before Tenochtitlan was founded. Whether the writer never finished the manuscript or if it was an elaborate imitation remains open to debate. The drawings are genuine, but the writing that follows them casts doubt. For now, the Codex Borbonicus remains suspended between fact and forgery, a page from the past we still can't fully trust. Number 12. Lost Golden City in Luxor Egypt might be one of the most excavated countries on Earth, and Luxor has been picked clean by archaeologists and flooded by tourists for decades. So when a full-blown city turned up there in 2021, no one could believe it. Despite the extensive digs and mapped ruins, an entire lost golden city had remained hidden under the sand. Until now, Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities officially announced the find in April, calling it one of the most astonishing discoveries in recent memory. Some experts think this settlement was once Egypt's largest industrial center during the reign of Amenhotep III, who ruled over 3,400 years ago. American Egyptologist Betsy Bryan said it was the most significant Egyptian find since Tut's tomb. 
So far, researchers have uncovered pottery ovens, weaving instruments, scarabs, clay seals, jewelry, and even rings, but it's just the beginning. What lies ahead might include untouched tombs and things beyond this earth. Number, Undishi. Sinkaveci Temple Cave. There's no question that the Sinkaveci Temple Cave in Romania is an astonishing example of ancient construction and engineering. It was clearly built for spiritual or ritualistic purposes. What's unclear is who built it, why, or exactly when. Known locally as the Monastery of Destiny, this cave was carved deep into stone approximately 7,000 years ago at least. That's what current evidence suggests. Over time the space has been used by various faiths, you'll see a Star of David engraved into one wall while other sections feature the yin-yang symbol. The structure contains nine chambers in total, including two that appear to have been used as chapels. Light reaches the space through narrow shafts carved up to the surface, functioning as natural skylights. Since an ancient fortress sits nearby, some have speculated that a tunnel may have once linked the two sites, but so far no physical evidence supports that theory. With no written record to guide interpretation, the cave remains one of Europe's most enigmatic sacred spaces. Number 10. Rosslyn Chapel. Rosslyn Chapel has stood silently in Scotland since 1456, but following Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code, it suddenly became a lightning rod for myths. Stories linking it to the Holy Grail or the Knights Templar are mostly imagined, but the chapel does hold mystery. Between 1592 and 1842, it sat abandoned, and much of the meaning behind its carvings faded away. Some inscriptions and designs still resist translation, strangely, a few of them resemble types of corn and wheat that weren't known in Europe until after explorers returned from the Americas in the 16th century. Stranger still is the sealed vault behind the chapel, its entrance never found. Theories range from it containing the Scottish crown jewels to something far more controversial. Whatever is hidden inside, no one is permitted to investigate. Tearing into a centuries-old structure without absolute necessity is labeled cultural destruction. So for now, the mystery remains untouched, locked in stone, waiting, with no certainty that it'll ever be answered. Number 9. The Shapira Scrolls. In 1883, Moses Wilhelm Shapira claimed he had something extraordinary, leather scrolls with Paleo-Hebrew script that according to him were the oldest biblical texts in existence. Shapira had a reputation as a forger, and scholars at the time dismissed the scrolls as fakes. The documents then vanished and were presumed lost forever. But in recent years, experts like Israeli-US scholar Adon Dershowitz have revisited Shapira's claims and now some believe he might have been telling the truth. According to Dershowitz, the fragments date back 3,000 years to the era of the First Temple. The content closely mirrors the Book of Deuteronomy but features notable differences, including missing laws and an added 11th commandment, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. There's a catch. Dershowitz based his work on 19th century transcriptions, not the original scrolls. They disappeared in 1889. Still, if the analysis holds, then Shapira's scrolls could be the oldest surviving version of any biblical text on record. Number 8. The Bristol High Cross. Standing in the middle of Bristol is a medieval monument that most people walk past without knowing what they're seeing. The Bristol High Cross is a monumental market cross first erected in 1373, but the site's importance goes back even further. It was built where an earlier Anglo-Saxon cross once stood and was meant to mark the royal charter from King Edward III that officially made Bristol its own county, separate from Gloucester and Somerset. The cross features statues of past monarchs, and that's where things get odd. One face shows Edward III and Queen Elizabeth I, another includes Henry III and Henry VI, but on the south face it supposedly shows Edward I. There's a problem Edward III was still alive when the monument was built, and Edward I wouldn't be king for another 90 years. Historians have never agreed on why his statue appears here. No one's even sure it's really him. But the mystery still stands. Number 7. Gilbert Island's Shark Tooth Weapons. Most extinct animals were lost long before recorded history, but not all of them. 
In 2013, researchers analyzing traditional weapons from the Gilbert Islands in the Central Pacific found something unexpected, shark teeth from species that no longer exist. The weapons spears, swords, and daggers date back to the 19th century and are constructed almost entirely of wood and shark teeth, lashed together with natural fiber. Out of the various teeth studied, two sets couldn't be linked to any currently known shark species. One matched a now unknown variant of the dusky shark, and another came from a spot-tail shark that no longer exists. What's even stranger is that neither species was native to the surrounding waters. This has led researchers to question whether the islanders hunted the sharks while they were still alive, or inherited the teeth through trade from other regions. Either way, the discovery reveals that extinction doesn't always leave fossils, it can also hide in weapons, tools, and memory. Number 6. Copan. Among the many Mayan sites across Central America, the ruins of Copan in Honduras stand out as one of the most significant. Located near the Guatemalan border, this city once thrived during the Classic period between 500 and 900 AD, supporting a population of around 20,000 people. When the civilization collapsed, its residents vanished almost overnight. Over time, the Copan River eroded large parts of the site, but when the city was rediscovered by European explorers, efforts were made to reroute the river and preserve what remained. Copan is known for its huge collection of hieroglyphs, nearly 5,000 glyphs have been cataloged. Yet the towering 15-foot-tall stele are equally captivating. These stone monuments often depict rulers and deities and serve as public records. The most famous feature of the site is the hieroglyphic stairway, which contains the full lineage of Copan's royal family carved into its steps. Preserving it meant moving an entire river, but the historical and cultural value more than justified the effort. Number 5. Usakli Hoyuk Mosaic in 2021, Turkish archaeologists uncovered a mosaic so early, they're calling it the ancestor of all Mediterranean mosaics. It's a bold claim, but one supported by the facts. Over 3,000 stones were found, once arranged in elegant curves and triangles, forming a complex pattern inside a 3500-year-old Hittite temple at Usakli Hoyuk. While the stones have faded, they were originally colored black, red, and beige. This mosaic predates the earliest known Greek examples by around 700 years. The find took on new significance when remnants of a palace were unearthed nearby. That discovery revived long-standing speculation that Usakli Hoyuk might be the long-lost city of Zipalanda. The name appears repeatedly on Hittite tablets as a major religious hub dedicated to the storm god, but its precise location was never certain. In 2022, with additional evidence, archaeologists confirmed the site's identity. This discovery not only redefines the timeline of mosaic art, it pins down a city that had vanished into ancient records. Number 4. Catacombs of Qom el Shakafa. While catacombs exist throughout Europe, few compare to the grandeur of Qom el Shakafa in Alexandria, Egypt. These tombs, believed to have been built in the 2nd century CE, reflect a striking blend of Roman, Hellenistic and traditional Egyptian architecture, sometimes within the same chamber. The results are visually fascinating and historically puzzling. One example, statues carved in pharaonic style but wearing Roman armor and hairstyles. Used as a family tomb for around two centuries, the catacombs were eventually abandoned and forgotten. They were rediscovered purely by accident in 1900, when a donkey fell through an access shaft. Since then, archaeologists have explored an expansive network of burial chambers, banquet halls, and ornate sarcophagi. It's believed the original tomb was meant for a single wealthy family, but it expanded over time due to its intricate design and popularity. Qom el Shakafa now ranks among the seven wonders of the Middle Ages, and not everything about it is uncovered. Number 3. Ram Jam of Humi Relics. In 2020, archaeologists working at the Ram Jam of Humi site in Ayodhya uncovered a series of ancient artifacts during groundwork for a new temple. The finds carry enormous cultural weight as the site is believed by Hindus to be the birthplace of Rama, an avatar of Vishnu. 
Among the found items were a shivalinga, fragmented idols of Hindu deities, floral stone carvings and pieces of black and red stone pillars. Some of the sculptures were damaged, likely from centuries of erosion or destruction. Of particular interest is the style of the shivalinga, which doesn't resemble any previously documented forms, suggesting it might belong to a lesser-known regional tradition. Some experts believe that what appear to be black pillars could actually be made of black touchstone, though that's still unconfirmed. Initially, there were concerns that the find might delay construction, but work resumed quickly after the relics were cataloged and safely removed. The discoveries add another layer to Ayodhya's already deep archaeological and spiritual heritage. Number Dos. Homo erectus tools. In April 2021, archaeologists investigating an abandoned gold mine about 80 kilometers east of Atbara, Sudan, uncovered hundreds of ancient stone tools. They weren't Roman, Egyptian, or even Neolithic, they belonged to Homo erectus, one of our earliest human ancestors. Some researchers estimate the tools are at least 700,000 years old, while others argue they may be over a million. The site includes cleavers and large cutting implements, shaped to fit the hand and built for function. Their simple yet effective design suggests a rudimentary but highly capable community. The volume of tools found raises the possibility that this wasn't just a camp, but an early tool workshop. If true, it would make this the oldest known production site of its kind anywhere in the region, and possibly the world. The fact that it was found inside a gold mine long abandoned adds an ironic twist in digging for modern wealth, we may have stumbled upon the hard-earned labor of ancient hands shaping stone for survival. Number 1. YDBY Runestone More than two and a half centuries ago, the YDBY Runestone disappeared from public record. Everyone assumed it was lost for good. Then in 2016, it turned up in the backyard of an ordinary home in northern Denmark. No one knows how it got there. The Viking-era artifact is about 1,000 years old and features a runic inscription that reads, Toli and Lefi's sons placed this stone after Lefi. The words match a drawing made in 1767 by researchers who documented the stone before it vanished. Some even doubted it ever existed until now. The homeowner, Ove Capel, had lived on the property for 25 years. It wasn't until a friend pointed it out that he realized he might be sitting on something important. The stone has since been moved to Denmark's National Museum for Preservation. Its reappearance solves one mystery and raises another, how did a priceless rune stone wind up sitting unnoticed in someone's garden for over 250 years? If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe for more amazing content like this. Thanks for hanging with us, and we'll see you soon in the next 